Hello, everyone, boys and girls. This is uh, me making coffee in my underwear. And of course, I am here making the coffee. The water is on. I know last week I told you about kettles. It's when they make water very hot and it starts to bubble. Very exciting process. And uh, of course, hello to you. How are you? And of course, uh, this is the underwear I'm wearing. Uh, it's from H&M. So far, two episodes in and no sponsorship, but we're very hopeful. Even if someone just like hand makes underwear, I'd be happy to have uh, their support. Uh, also today, uh, it's a very exciting time. We're going to be grinding the beans. Oh, good morning, Mike. How are you? I hope you're in your underwear too. We're going to be grinding beans. Uh, very excited because beans, I'll show you a raw bean. I don't know if you've ever seen one before. Huh? You know, you know, look at this bean. So it's it's no good to make coffee, but so you have to grind it until it's all powdery. It's a very exciting process. It feels very scientific. I'm using it uh, a bullet because uh, I don't have the money for a coffee grinder because I don't have the H&M underwear sponsorship. Uh, it's a vicious, vicious cycle. We're putting the, the beans in. Isn't this exciting? And we're going to grind them. And, and grinding to me when I was a kid is, is something you did with a girl you liked at the ninth grade dance. It was very, very awkward. Ooh, Sp Tia, they're not Spider-Man underwear. I'm going to clarify. Uh, these are actually lips. They are blue lips. But yes, I guess red and blue are the Spider-Man colors, among other things. Spider-Man's not that original. Okay, we're going we're gonna to grind here. Get a nice shot of Clarence, lovely to see you. Thank you for joining me and all your support. Let's see how many hearts and likes this grinding can get. Check ground. Okay. Wasn't that something? Wasn't that an exciting process? I know we're all having a good time. All right, and we're going to put them into the thing. This is a holder, I guess, for the grinds. Grounds? Coffee grinds? Coffee grounds? Someone help me. I don't know everything, but I'm going to try. I'm going to put the, the coffee, the old four scoops here in the... Uh, hello, Deanna. Good to, good to see you. I hope everyone had a good Valentine's Day. Tell me what you did on your Valentine's Day. If you have any questions about your love life, Feel free to ask in the comments and I will answer them. We're gonna do, we're gonna do four scoops because we're gonna have a wild, well, it's coffee grounds. Thank you, Sam. It is grounds, okay. Grinds is, I guess, a perfect thing that people say or a fun skateboarding term for all you kids who skateboard. Mine, that looks like fun. That Tony Hawk guy is a hoot. All right, four scoops. Mmm, mmm. It's good to leave uh, a little bit of the grounds in the blender here, if you make the butter coffee, then the ground stick, and then at the bottom of your cup, you get it in your mouth, and for about eight seconds, you pretend that you chew tobacco. Uh, it's very, uh, it's a very masculine event. And well, the water is, uh, is boiling, and we're having a time. Get that 50-50 grind, gnarly kickflip. Yes, thank you. I'm single again this Valentine's Day. Tia is single, uh, if anyone, uh, is interested in talking to Tia. She is single and posted it on the comments, so good luck with all that. My wife is giving me side eye, questioning why I'm watching a guy in his underwear make coffee. It's RJ City, so it's acceptable. Yes, I consider myself uh, attractive to all the genders. Oh my, someone is at the door. Excuse me. Opening the door. Oh my, look who it is. Uh, it's Marty Bell from the NWL. How are you, Marty I'm Bell? I'm doing great, how are you? Good, what just, are you doing here? I just came over to get some coffee. Um, I smelled it outside, I was just walking by, I was walking the dog. It's quite an aroma. And so you left your dog just outside in the snow? I took him home. Oh, okay. I just decided I, I was gonna run back. I was just, uh, just, is it, it's a little warm in here, is it okay if I? Well, yeah, I guess, I mean, it's the show. If it's okay, I guess yeah. she could join the show. It's is that whatever. okay with everybody watching? Tia, Sam, Marty. Okay, Tia said Marty, so Tia, that's okay. fine. She's Hi, one person is excited, so that's okay. enough. Is that 
That's fine. Take her to your room, mm. sir. I will not. I that am here is, to do two things, and that is make coffee and wear underwear, and I will do nothing else. Good day to you. So I was going to also go on a jog, so that's why I'm dressed like this. In the snow so, um, yeah, with I'm, your dog. I'm an, I'm an athlete. It's what, it's what we do. Well, you seem to think so. So um, what are Sam we said hello. Oh, hi, Sam. Isn't that nice? Oh. oh uh, hello, Christina. Good to see you, Gabby. Um, so what? So this is your jogging outfit? Yes, this is what I jog in. Um, it's just this new thing I'm trying. Uh, it's not that new. People um, have been doing it for thousands and thousands of years. Well, it's it's pronounced yogging. Oh, actually, that's uh, where I'm from. We call it yogging. Sure. And um, actually, you do it in the cold, and you wear something very small. Mm. It's something to do with like your temperature and the temperature outside, and it's great. You should try it. Mm. You know, I sometimes go outside okay. in my underwear in the snow, and uh, what happens is I come inside, and my uh, my nipples are so hard that I like to cut bread with them. Oh, hi, Keith. Oh, hi, Keith. Keith. Keith, Keith is watching, and Aww. he's the most adorable, wonderful wrestler. He is the most adorable, wonderful wrestler. And a wrestler. great hugger. Clarence said, RJ is so the hottest. Sorry, Marty. I'm wearing two exist bright yellow briefs to show my appreciation for the revolution and embrace it. Clarence is my most ardent supporter, and I would be nowhere uh, without him. Uh, Marty's dressing gown is greater than RJ's underwear. Uh, Tia, I'm insulted and ashamed. Thank you, Tia. Uh, so what do you know about coffee? Um, actually, um, where I am from, the country that my parents are from, and uh, where I've gotten a chance to visit and live for some time. Bangladesh. Dominican Republic. Oh. We are known for our strong, delicious coffee. I've never seen one of these. It is a French press. The French press. I'm not uh, from France. I am uh, not from France. Either. Oh, je parle un petit peu français. God bless you. Oh, okay. Thank you. Well, um... So I am Good morning, Derek. Oh, sorry. Fernando wrote Nipple Gang. And I think that's a fine name for the team that we've created here. Fine name for the team? The Nipple Gang. The Nipple Gang. So how do you make your Dominican coffee? We make it in a percolate. Uh, in a percolate. So it is very similar. There is boiling of water, but it's all like done together. Coffee. Yes. It's all done at the same time. You use a percolator. You put the grounds. Grind? Gr uh, grounds. 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 The Sam grounds. told me grounds. Yeah. Put the grounds on the bottom of it. Um, and then you put also water, and then you turn, 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 put it on the stove, and now uh, you get some strong, delicious espresso. Chris wrote, the man who put the entertainment back in sports entertainment, my catchphrase. My wife is up in heaven right now, probably enjoying this. Well, that is sweet. Aww. I'm happy that I could entertain all the realms. Thank you, Chris. 10 out of 10 geography. Yes, of course, Tia. Oh, Keith said thank you, because he's the most Aww. polite man in the world, and he's yes. adorable. Um, so yes, we're going to do the French press. Are you confident about the French press? How do you like your, how do you take your coffee? Uh, black. Black. How do you? Do Maya, you're an exciting gal. Well, I'm going to show you. Okay. I have the, the butter here. Oh, I like gonna, to put the ghee, this, as they say. This is, called, this is a, a little bit of ghee. It's a kind of, kind of, it's a variation. And I also have a uh, pH drops because someone told me, um, acid will kill me. Oh. So I'm all freaked out about it now. Uh, if anyone knows anything about this acid alkaline business, please tell me if it's a scam or not. Scam or not? Because I'm spending a lot of um, money on it. <clears throat> yeah, yeah. Great. Well, <clears throat> <sighs> Making coffee. Just for if anyone has any questions for Marty or about uh, your love lives, oh, I'd yes. be happy to answer them, and then she can weigh in. Too. Well, yeah, you can weigh in uh, after the fact. Okay. That's totally, totally fine. So this is not underwear for you. You don't consider this, this not, underwear. This is not underwear. This is. It's uh, not. It's a better yeah. thing. Huh? Yeah. Well, I'll do my best. It's fun. It's hip. Like, it's like a, no. It like, no, no, it's not. No? Absolutely not. That's one thing it isn't. Okay. <clears throat> um, and so you have your coffee. You go for a jog. Then you go home. You have a cup of coffee. That's true. Yes. And then you just really have a nap. Oh, sometimes. Yeah, usually. Enough. I also like to have coffee before my run, so it uh, energizes me. Mm -hmm. But then I expend so much energy with this new yogging technique yes. that uh, when I get home, I must have more coffee. Fair enough. That's Today, fair. You know, you're going to be for me, so that's fantastic. Well, this is almost ready. Oh, wow. So that's I've put this in here. If everyone's familiar with this process. I put, oh, there's more comments. I'm so sorry. Nipple gang for life. Thank you, okay. Tia. Good morning, Jennifer. Starbucks barista here watching intently. Charlotte, uh, please tell me all your tips. 
and tricks. I heard they burn the coffee at Starbucks. Is this true? Fill me in. Uh, this is better than Sunday morning TV. Of course it is, Fernando. Nobody watches cartoons anymore. I thought all they drank in Putacana was rum, but hey, maybe they put rum in their coffee. Actually, mm. uh, Dominican coffee is also sometimes uh, drank with rum, especially if you're in Punta Cana on the beach. It's, uh, it's what we do. Fantastic. Sounds like, like a good way to get heat stroke. Huh? Thank you for the kind words. Of course, Karen. How do I become as pretty as you, Marty? Aw, Tia, I know that you're already as pretty as me. Oh, so. With a, with a name like that, that, Tia, you must be. Oh. You really gave her nothing to strive for. Well, she's oh, already beautiful. She's I know, but it's anything. like, you know, give her something to us. All right, watch out. You're going to burn yourself. Well, you're going to burn me. Talk about nipple gang. Who else? Let me see if I can read comments. Off of the working gig. Thank you, Sam. God bless. Godspeed. One more thing, RJ. I tried your pose to see how well I can be like you in your underwear. Okay, Clarence, let me know how that goes. Please post a picture for the entire uh, audience to see. Hello, hello. That alkaline thing is true. Thank you, Antoine. You're also the first person I've, I've ever met named Antoine. Oh, Lenny is here. Lenny commentates Lenny! for WWN. And he's a, a fine fella, a fine voice. We love Lenny. He's a very sweet man. And last time I saw him, he had a horrible cough. And I hope all your phlegm is, is cleared up. Hi, Lenny. All right, let's see. Oh, my cousin Christina is watching, oh, and Christina. she feels uncomfortable seeing her cousin in her underwear. Well, maybe well, you should step out so that she can just see me. This is for you. A lot less awkward. Okay. And now you're uncomfortable okay. again. Oh, okay. okay, so we put this in, the French press, as you can see. Okay. Things are happening, and I'm going to put the timer on for four minutes. Does everyone remember that from last time, class? Four minutes. All right, we have time to kill. RJ put some clothes on. Thank you, Joe. I wish you put some clothes over your face. This is quite the sight. Yes, it is, Lenny. I would like you to do some commentary over it, please. Thank you, Marty. My self-esteem has increased exponentially. See, that's all you need. Isn't Just... that nice? Uh, nice to meet you. Are you a wrestler or is it what what? Well, neither of us are, are wrestlers. I've never heard of it. I'm not familiar with it. Keith says, rum and coffee sounds good right about now. You're a cheeky fella, Keith. You really, you really are. God bless you. So, so you're just going to have a black? That's it? I will try your, try uh, the your, butter. your, your coffee. with the, the, It's the robust sport. and full body. Lenny said, I'm doing commentary right now. Also, in my underwear picture, it didn't happen, Leonard. Joe says, yeah, I know. I have an ugly face. And that's the important thing is that you accept who you are. You know what I mean? You go, so I have an ugly face. And then when you accept attractive people to me are not aesthetically attractive. Clearly. They're people, thank you, they're people who are comfortable mm -hmm. with themselves. Sure. And I go, this person has embraced all their flaws and they're living with it. They're going out in the world. And I find that wonderful. It's wonderful. It's wonderful. So then do you save these uh, grinds? Grounds? Grounds. For I save time. the grounds for the next time. Oh, oh Faye said, uh, so when do the crafts come out? Uh, that's uh, my other show on another network. Uh, maybe legally. I, I don't know if they're proud to have me in my underwear like this. So I won't mention it for now. But I think there's one coming next week. Uh, Clarence says, RJ, what do you think of the hashtag embrace the underwear I made? I thought I could help. Well, my Clarence, that is an original and creative like uh, hashtag. And you're quite an inventive fellow. I like it. Ben says, this is my favorite leading show to crossbody pro, pro wrestling on YouTube. That's a slide plug, Ben. Um, Roger says, Dominican women are so attractive. Must be something in the coffee. Must be cafe. Yes, cafe. because as babies and children, Dominican women are, are ugly and hideous until they start mm. drinking the coffee. Then uh, they become actually, much more attractive. We do start drinking coffee at a very early age, and I was a very cute baby. So... That's why they have such a high risk of heart palpitations. That is actually also probably true. <clears throat> but do you know how to say coffee in Spanish? Coffee. <clears throat> cafe. Oh, cafe. Ca no. I, what... Cafe. Café. Ah, perfecto. Muy bien, RJ. Café. Café. Um, you know, uh, it always bothers me when there's like a word in English and then the word in another language like that. Like in French, pretzel is bretzel. There's just a B. Ah. And I thought that was a kind of lazy variation uh, by the French people. 
Um, let's, let's see. Is there anything, is there an award you'd like to learn? Is there a, a word that you, you fans at home, uh, watching you viewers, fans, viewers, what, what do we call them? People. Your guests, <laughs> your friends? Sure. Your friends. Is, sure. There a fr is there a word that you friends at home would like to learn? I'd be glad to teach RJ to say it. This is a word I want to learn. Oh, okay. Effervescence. Effervescence? Effervescent. Uh, Bradley says you can press the reset button and Marty Bell popped up because somebody pressed that last night and Sandman popped up. He's referring to a wrestling show where strange things happen. Well, I hey, assure you there's nothing strange happening here. I thought you were here. talking about my dog, Sandman, because that would have been very cute. Is your dog, uh, like, belligerent? And... He can be. Yes, he can nice. be. So it's it's very, very fitting name. Very fitting name. Looking good, RJ. Nick does not like you. Uh, Tia says, I feel proud of myself for knowing the Spanish word for coffee seconds before Marty said it. Isn't that amazing? Sybil Beautiful missed, and smart. Sybil missed the beginning, so if you're just joining us, I'm making coffee in my underwear uh, with Marty Bell here. And we have eight seconds to go uh, before we press the French press, which is very, very exciting. Brett says, first French and now Spanish. Such a cultural show. I've always said diversity uh, is the most important thing on this show. RJ and Marty Bell are totally fabulous, which is another word that doesn't exist. Oh, what's the Spanish for underwear? Good well, question. It Justin. depends. Um, if it's uh, panties, we okay. will say panty. Oh, wow. Try it, try it. Panty. Panty. Yes. Um, if it's for a male, we usually say calzoncillo. What? Cal. Cal. Son. Son. Sillo. Sillo. Calzoncillo. Sigen hoiden. <clears throat> Just almost. Well, what yeah, would you call these, I guess? Is um, those would be um, maybe boxer. Wow, what a fascinating it's language such a fascinating this is. Language. Such a Did my language. intern show up today? Yes, my intern Lewis uh, is here, and we're all proud of Lewis. Lewis, you're doing a fantastic you, job, and I'm just uh, uh, proud to have you on the team. So here's a salute to you, Lewis. Okay, go back behind the camera. No, thank you. <clears throat> uh, morning, RJ. Yes, morning to you, Rob. It's very sweet of you. Uh, Marty's looking good as well. Nick yeah. felt some guilt. <clears throat> Guys don't see you. Whatever works for you, Bradley. My French bulldog is loving this. How do you say bulldog in Spanish? Bulldog. Oh, that's nice. All right, are we ready for this? We're gonna do... Oh, how does this work? Well, oh. we're gonna slowly... Louis, can we pan down, please? Thank you, Louis. And we're gonna press it. Since this is cultural and it's about making friends, we're gonna press this together. Ooh. My, can my you wanna go in the... Yeah, okay. Um, you lead. Okay. Is it a forehand? Okay. I don't know. Ah. Huh? And we can go down so our faces show up. Isn't this riveting, huh? Wow. Okay. <clears throat> and we'll let it just settle for 30 seconds. Do we have the time? I'm getting, I'm getting cups. I'm getting cups. No, no. I'm no time. Counting yet. it in my head. Why don't you talk to the people and answer some nice questions? Okay. Hi, friends. Let's see, RJ loves Lewis. Hashtag. Friendship. Um, amistad. Wanna try that one? Amistad. Ah, perfecto, muy bien. Ah. Let's see. You guys should watch reruns of Family Matters after this. I like that. You, you know, that's so true Family because Matters it is such a rare condition this day and age to read any good news. There's people killing, there's corruption going on. A loving tradition in the grand design, some people think is even harder to find. But I've always thought there must be some magic clue inside these gentle walls. And because uh, all I see, quite frankly, is a tower of dreams, real love bursting out of, of every scene. Every scene. Uh, we have some cups here. So I'm sorry. What? Yeah. To utilize your own cash price. Now that's entertainment. Thank you for. Now that's entertainment. She's very would you, would you like me to teach you in Spanish? Sure. How do you say that's entertainment in Spanish? Eso es entretenimiento. Eso es entretenimiento. Ah, yeah. That's... Isn't that something? Um, okay, you want to pick a cup here? I got Keith a couple cups. Keith just noticed the Spider-Man underwear. Thank you, Keith. They're actually lips, but uh, oh, whatever. I never liked Spider-Man. I found him temperamental and oh. meddling. He was always meddling. He didn't really have a purpose. Hashtag Lewis is the star of this video. Yes, we're all fans of Lewis, Lewis. and his t-shirt will be available for purchase soon. Watch reruns of Golden Girls. Yes, I love that episode where one of them brings home a guy with a specific problem, and then B looks at Rose and says, no, Rose, it's something else, and then the show ends. Can you have Reginald Van Johnson? I, I, I'm going to correct you on this. I think it's Reginald Vell Johnson. 
Uh, he was, of course, the father in Family Matters. Oh. Carl Winslow. Tia. Tia, what a doll. What a doll. Marty might need to be on that next week. Oh. What is Spanish for meh? Ugh. See the subtle difference the there? You, you know where you are when you ask someone to say meh. meh. Um, if anyone can tell me what Family Matters was spun off from, the first person I will send you an 8 by 10 because I'll be so impressed that you got it. Mm. Let's wait and see. Uh, she wants, I got some cups here. Got a Nickelodeon cup. Ooh. I got this one I found on the street. Oh, that looks interesting. Yes. Why not? Maybe. This one? Yeah, maybe. Okay, all right. Interesting. We'll Let's see one. if anyone answered this It looks this like a plain cup, but when you turn it... Uh, Brett, send me a, a DM. I will send you a picture. The correct answer is Perfect Strangers, was what uh, Family Matters was spun off from. Fantastic. Of course, Harriet worked in their building. She was an elevator lady. I think she left the show because she got jealous over Steve Urkel. All right, let's make some ghee. Let's put the nice ghee. Hang in there. We're going to do this. So what exactly is ghee? Sir, it's clarified butter. It's clarified butter, because you know, sometimes butter can't make up his mind, but this is butter with a, a clearer state of mind. I'll put a little bit in here. Okay, and then, mmm, delightful. Do you want to read me stuff? Is there anything to read me while I make the... You're welcome. I was always a big fan as a kid. I understood, though. That was Keith. Uh, Todd said, entertaining and educational, the perfect show. See, you... Don't need to watch anything else, Todd. Maybe read a book, though. Hill Street, I love Hill Street Blues. Blues. I'm a big Betty Thomas fan. I have a wonderful crush on her. Oh, Clarence. Cla Clarence. Clarence. What? Clarence. Clarence. Clarence, Clarence not yeah. Clarence. Clarence okay. is, I think, something that's uh, in your Clarence pool. said, I gotta go, RJ. We'll talk and tweet after this. Nice to meet you, Marty Bell. Oh, nice to meet Godspeed, you. Clarence. 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 Huh? Getting the butter and the coffee. Oh, that's mine. I get my own. That's yours. It's all mine. Knock yourself out. Lewis, can we pan down a little here to see the cup? Isn't that something? Riveting. Hmm. Smells interesting. Knock yourself out. So actually, fun fact, um, when we are young in DR, we normally drink um, our coffee uh, mm. as children with mm. uh, some milk or something like that. But we also uh, dip our bread and butter into it. So I it's love doing basically this. Basically, this coffee. It smells like this coffee. See? This coffee smells like my chocolate. It's also a very Italian thing. I like good hard bread. Okay, yeah. Because yes. it absorbs we the. We call it pan de agua, which sure literally translates to um, bread of water, which is. Water bread. Of course, everyone's yeah. familiar with water bread. Roger says this looks absolutely delightful. Oh, thank you. What do you think happened to Judy Winslow? I would love. To know, I think she's on the back lot of, I don't know, perhaps Full House right now. Looks absolutely delightful. Yes, thank you, Raja. Hello, Julia. Good to see you. Well, let's uh, have a sip to friendships and dogs out there. Amistad. Sure. My dog is at home. <laughs> that is delightful. Oh, biscotti and coffee, of course, mm. Christina. How did I? I'm so yes. stupid, I forgot. It's delicious. Tia likes a good hard bread, it don't we all? Like oh my God, Cody Diener is watching. Cody, uh, we love you, and I hope we can team together soon and then get unbooked together because we're too entertaining. Oh. Love that sports bra, girl. That's Thanks. from Natty. Zumba. 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 Oh, isn't that nice yeah. with the cuts? The cuts and the... It's great. That's fun Girl stuff. power. You know all about girl powder, don't you, RJ? Oh, here's a question. Why is the milk in the Dominican they pour in their coffee hot? Well, so then your coffee doesn't get cold. See, but if your coffee is too hot, you should probably put cold milk in. Mm, it's also probably something to do with the fact that it's probably, like, milk that just came from a cow, so you have to boil it. Right. Uh, Danielle says, hello, hello. We Hi, salute Danielle. our cups to you. Judy is with all the other siblings that walked up the stairs and never walked down. Sitcom uh, sets are so confusing. RJ meeting up with Rob Fuego today. Uh, tell Rob I said hello. It's a good person. Rob trained uh, Gail Kim. Oh, fantastic. Uh, we love Cody, too. Isn't this nice? People watching people are the luckiest people in the world. <clears throat> yes. So how are you feeling about the buttercream? Ah, uh, fantastic. It um, actually looks like chocolate when you... Um... Yeah, do you want... Can we get a shot of the... Without spilling it everywhere? Mm. Isn't that nice and thick and a robust, full-bodied flavor? 
What? Well, I kind of noticed that we have similar amounts of cleavage, and that's fun. Oh. I thought it's nice. I have more cleavage than I do, actually. It's... Uh, my Facebook friend has just started watching this. She has no idea who either of you are or why you're doing this. Quite frankly, neither do we. Should be fun. Let me know her thoughts. Oh, hello, um, Amanda. Uh, Hi, Amanda. Lovely to see you. We're all, uh, yeah, I apologize. <laughs> Uh, David Bickler joined, which I think is a great last name. If my name was David Bickler, I would introduce myself with my full name. They'd be like, hi, how, how, my name's John. What's your name? And I'd say, my name's David Bickler. And they'd say, is it Dave? And I'd say, no, it's David Bickler. Because I love, I love, you know that? Making those sounds. Mm. Wasn't Family Matters a spinoff from Perfect Train? Yes, Jennifer, you are so late to the party. I actually gave away an 8x10 for the first person who answered that. Um, sorry. But thank you for joining us, is what he meant to say. I love Perfect Strangers. Bronson Pinchot and Mark Lynn Baker, neither of them will answer my tweets. Are there any celebrities you've tried to tweet and never heard back from? Um, usually baseball players. Um, yeah. Do you think they're like adept at Twitter or do you think they have a team that does it? Um, it depends. Some of them I think do their own, do depending on how. I guess, yes. Um, I have gotten a response from some Dominican baseball players, Ooh. and then I uh, regretted the decision immediately. Mm. Because one time they it, slid home. Uh, they tried. One time it was like somebody was talking about how he'd never been to Chick fil A, and I was like, oh my gosh, you have to try it. And then they uh, slipped into the M's and were like, what did you mean? And I was like, I meant you should try Chick fil A. Um, and then it was just really. They thought you were talking about yourself. Or something. Sort. It was just really weird. Oh really awkward. God. But you know what? Baseball. Baseball. Sure, baseball. Which baseball. Is how you say it and, yeah. Ah, Great language. You would be. Reminiscing back to the Neo days in Niagara Falls, it was my first taste of RJ, and I've been hooked ever since. I also have a very uh, bitter aftertaste as I age. That is a fact. Mm -hmm. Jennifer joined. Hello, Jennifer. We're all proud of you. Mmm. Tia said, and Tia lives in England, oh. there's no, there's no Chick-fil-A in England. That's so sad. Yes. Chick-fil-A is so delicious. If you ever come visit us here in the U.S., you must try Chick-fil-A, but not on Sundays because they're closed. Oh. Actually, Marty and I just recently watched an 11-minute video of a guy yes. sitting in his car eating a Chick-fil-A sandwich. Spicy. Yes. A sandwich. spicy one. His name is Kid Food Reviewer. I have no affiliation with him. I just think he's amazing. So look him up. Hopefully one day I'll get to see you wrestle in Montreal. Toronto mm. is far. Uh, yes, it is. Bother people uh, in Montreal, or just I, I'm happy to take a booking for lunch. Please brunch, read uh, Key Pot's comment out loud. Cafe is muy, muy, muy. Cafe is muy, 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 muy bueno, bueno. Yes. Coffee is very good. Yes, Keith, muy and bien. we're very proud of you. And the test is going to be this Thursday, so please study. Uh, Marky Mark says, "Good morning, chap. Uh, good morning, young man." Um, I hope Marky your mustache Mark? is groomed well. Oh. No, he's a fantastic person. His name is uh, Freddie Mercurio, and I'll show oh. you him later. He's a wonderful fantastic. wrestler. To see him. It took me forever to realize the C in Chick-fil-A was a chicken. Lock, lock. All right. Good morning to you two. Good morning, Tim. Good morning. How are you? Uh, hello from Puerto Rico. Jennifer is watching in Puerto Rico. So say hello to her in Spanish. Cafe. Hola, Jennifer. ¿Cómo estás? Espero que tengas una linda mañana. Where are you guys uh, in the U.S.? Uh, we're in a small town called Morgantown, West Virginia, which is the hometown of Don Knotts, and we're very, very excited to be here. It's beautiful. Uh, does the food reviewer eat in his underwear? No, he's wearing a polo most of the time. But what if you reviewed food in your underwear? Does anyone want to see that? That'd be interesting. Let I me know. I think after watching uh, these uh, episodes we were watching last night, I might become a food reviewer. Good. Yeah. Good. And uh, here's to you, and three cheers for you. Hoping to see you wrestle in Detroit again soon. Uh, sure. Sure, I guess I could go there. It's an odd place. People are very mean. Missed you on Super Kicked Friday. Yes, I was not at Super Kicked, and I left my two guys' tag team partner, Psycho Mike, in the lurch, as I often do, but maybe one day I'll come back. Freddie Mercurio was awesome. That we all know. Tim is great. He missed most of the show tonight. Day what? Today, though. Just watch it from the beginning. Hola, saludos, somebody said. That's a coffee ground. So, Marty got a little coffee ground in her cup and if she was here earlier i think the trick is to just put it back in oh. and pretend that you're chewing tobacco or something okay. you're a dominican baseball player and you're sliding into her dms you and know, making all I sorts of mistakes i just saw that that is something that people are using to quit uh chewing tobacco is now they're chewing coffee mm -hmm. i used to chew coffee when i was a kid you ever see in the grocery store they have the do-it-yourself grind thing i used to put my finger i dip my finger in the thing it was delightful mm -hmm. uh 
Is anyone else ferociously masturbating? Uh, Kurt, I've told you before, ferociously is not the operative word. Do it gently, caress yourself, love yourself. Gracias, igual. Loy? Same. Oh. Miss seeing you at Reloaded last night. Hope you would come out during the reset button. I came out years ago, my friend. Uh, come to Pennsylvania and meet me. Christina, it's on the list, and we'll come have coffee soon. Buen provecho. Buen provecho. Basically, it means that they hope that you're enjoying it. It's something that, so some, when you walk into someone's home and they are eating, um, you say, uh, buen provecho, which means, like, I hope you enjoy your meal, and the person who is eating responds with a buen tiempo, which means you have arrived at a good time, so join us for lunch. Fascinating. Uh, Tim says, damn, big thumbs lead to spelling grammar errors. Sorry for the gibberish. Do you have fat thumbs, Marty? Um, I, have, I have skinny fingers. Oh, uh, yeah. That's Small good. hands, but skinny fingers. Yeah, I got long piano playing type fingers. Sean says, sorry I'm late. I'll do my best to catch up. I'm skipping church for this, and you're better because of it. Say hi to the pastor for me. Estelle Getty Club for life. Yeah, I was at a wrestling once, and someone had a bullet club sign that said Estelle Getty Club. And I thought that would be a fun thing to start and then get sued by her oh, estate. Uh, they're good people. Kurt has just joined again, so I assume he's masturbating so furiously that he hit the leave button and had to enter again. Okay. All right. Oh, you know what they say about people with big thumbs? Yes, they're grotesque and disgusting, and I will never shake your hand. That's the old saying. <clears throat> I have sausage fingers, and that's adorable. And if you ever get hungry, you know, you got a snack. You have a snack on your own hand. Hello from Ottawa, Ohio. Where is Ottawa, Ohio? I lived in Ohio for a few years, and now I'm not familiar. I'm assuming it's really far north. I went to Willoughby, Ohio. Oh, fantastic. It's a wonderful time. Oh, great. Uh, Joe Thornington says, be Arthur for life. I can't disagree there. I'm not a fan of Betty White. I think she's full of shit. I think she's very pompous. B never liked her and had a, a lifelong grudge, and I... Continue to take up the cause. All right, you doing anything else after this? Um, gonna go for a run. Good. Would you like to join me? Absolutely not. Okay. And well, I think it's time you leave my house. Uh, well, I guess that's it. Oh, yay, cannibalism! Yes, Tia, I've always said I'm a big supporter of cannibalism, and I hope it makes a rousing comeback. Um, joking, I'm not a cannibal. Tia, yeah. what you do in your own time is totally up to you. Jimmy, hello, and hello, Clyde. I've never met a Clyde before. So yeah. Marty is gonna get going. And we're going to end soon. If anyone has any closing questions for Marty, uh, please spit them out very quickly. She's putting her jogging robe back on. My yogging And then she'll be out the door to do a poor job of taking care of her dog. Oh, uh, uh, Lindsay said it's close to Finley, Ohio. Oh, okay. Because we all know where Finley, Ohio is. Um, I do, so there we go. Are you paying attention to the Olympics? And if so, what is your favorite sport? Uh, I don't. You want to know why? I've been catching up on the dog shows on USA. And I'm very excited. There's a Pekingese that I'm very proud of, and I hope he pulls through. May I take on my, my mug with you? No, absolutely not. You must leave it here. Um, thanks, guys. Um, aw, Keith, I hope to see you soon. Thank you, Keith. God bless you. We love you all. Everyone go follow Keith. Um, Hasta luego. Sure. Okay. You, you can, can find me as well. Please follow me. You can find me on Facebook, uh, facebook.com slash FP. M-A-R-T-I-B-E-L-L-E. -E. That's also my name on Twitter. Uh, please say hello and let me know where you came from. Or also Marty.Bell on Instagram. I post riveting pictures. As, is that your, the word you like to use? Riveting? Fascinating. Fascinating pictures. Fascinante. Please let yourself. Okay, of course. Goodbye, Marty. Bye, friends. Well, uh, that's it for me today, making the coffee in my underwear. Uh, I'll do it again soon. Maybe. God bless you. Uh, Godspeed. And good coffee.